Hey guys, Zeno here from Local Meets Zeno, and I recorded a session of Outlast, uh, episode 1 of the Let's Play, and it turns out the video file got corrupted, so I have to re-record it, so I'm gonna come in here and delete absolutely everything. So, that's that. I know the beginning part of the game, so I'm actually, instead of playing it on normal like I planned on it, I'm going to go ahead and play it on hard. So, I hope you guys enjoy, and we're gonna jump right into it. Outlast, FYI, I'm not going to read everything. Ugh, it was such a pain in the ass, especially when, oh my god, no. Outlast contains intense violence, gore, graphic sexual content, and strong language. Please enjoy. You are Miles Upshur, an investigative reporter whose ambition is about to earn him an intimate tour of hell on earth. Always willing to risk digging into the stories no other journalist would dare investigate, you will seek out the dark secrets. Heart of Mount Massive Asylum. Stay alive as long as you can. Record everything. You are not a fight. Okay. Whoa. You are not a fighter. To navigate the horrors of Mount Massive and expose the truth, your only choices are to run, hide, or die. Sounds great! Let's go! <laughs> Jesus. Alright, well. Gonna be special, and I'm in a car. So it was last time, and uh, I'm gonna have to videotape everything. I noticed last time I videotaped absolutely everything that I did, so it literally looked like the game itself was in a video camera, and I realized that can get quite unappealing after a while. So I'm gonna go ahead and not do that. So hopefully. It'll do my character's name already. It was Miles. I'm about 100% sure to be honest. It's a problem. Turn off the car. Don't forget your files and your camera. Fucking. You don't know me, but I have to make this quick. They might be monitoring. I did two weeks of software consult at Murkoff Psychiatric Systems facilities in Mount Massive. All sorts of NDAs I am very much breaking right now, but seriously, fuck those guys. Terrible things happening here. Don't understand it. Don't believe half the things I saw. Doctors talking about dream therapy going too deep, finding something that had been waiting for them in the mountain. People are being hurt and Murkoff is making money. It needs to be exposed. Got my two... Beautiful old batteries and my night vision camera. So I realized that's how he, or I, character. Miles Upshur, alright, that's my name. Okay, no, please, night vision off. So I realized, excuse me, that's how I refill the batteries in my camera. I just slap it. <laughs> Whatever. Alright, so let's go ahead and get this. <laughs> Just about a lot of the places where I need to go. I start feeling sick just looking at this place. Mount Massive Asylum. Shut down amid scandal in government secrecy in 1971. Reopened by Murkoff Psychiatric Systems in 2009 under guise of a charitable organization. Cell phone reception cut off abruptly a mile out. More like a jammer than a lost signal. The Murkoff Corporation has a long track record of disgusting profit as charity, but never on American soil. Whatever they thought they could get out of this place has to be big. It might finally be the story that breaks the bastards. Turn around. I know this is locked. There's nothing on the right side. To record events. There's not much I need to record. That door is locked as well, which is pretty useless. So we're gonna turn it into Mirror's Edge 2 and go straight up with parkour. I can't use 
my camcorder on the ladders. Ready for this? <laughs> Epic jumps. <laughs> Look at that wall run. I hope I don't fall. It fell last time. Still getting scared. God. Alright, I just want to keep towards this. Are there are batteries somewhere. There we are. Are there files in the next room? Yep. Alright, therapy status. Patient claims to have progressed to self directed lucid dream states, morphogenic engine, activity observed at the words I can't say scale I can say it I just never try which is not good continuing stage 4 hormone schedule you guys can read it for yourself just pause the video <laughs> let me in you son of a bitch Wait a minute. Is this the same room? Alright, so went one, two, there's a third one all the way over there. Look. I just realized this. He broke in, like, he jumped in the doors or whatever. How do you get over there? That there's a big fat guy that comes out. Oh. I didn't think this was the part. I didn't think. Journalist. Not saying journalists can't fight. It's Mr. Fatty. Fatterson. Fuck you, Mr. Fatty McFatterson. Little pig. It's Shrek's brother! session of recording I made it past this part you're gonna shut I want to watch you shut or are you gonna wait till I look away of course okay, let's shut I wonder what 
what's in those rooms, like the boarded up rooms. <sighs> A water bottle scared me. Right. Here, there's something in there, nothing in here. Already beat to hell, picking broken glass out of my scalp, a couple cracked ribs, nearly killed by a deformed giant. Looks like Shrek's brother. Looks like somebody tried to fuckstart his head with a cheese grater. He throws me through a wall, knocks me unconscious. I would wake up to some doughy old man with the face of an alcoholic kitty fiddler in a homemade priest outfit and calls me an apostle. Not a job I asked for. There are words scrawled in blood everywhere. I'm getting an ugly feeling in my gut that this priest is writing them for, and for my benefit. Alright, this is the security room. Four fatalities contained ambiguous data litigation. If the evidence is correct, manage possible project wire. Oh. Excuse me. Keep yawning, I'm tired. I haven't slept. And there will almost certainly for the casual for the casual things. For the family. Family. <laughs> I should put that <clears throat> the MLG Australian man to read this thing. I'll have to play extra just so I don't leave off exactly where my video cut off last time. I'm gonna have the MLG dude read this. I'm not even gonna bother. I'm just gonna go ahead now. Still creepy as shit. <clears throat> I wish I could punch it. A crowd of broken men watching a dead channel. They look like patients. They survived whatever happened here, but nobody's home. I said this before. And I mean this. This guy looks like Lex Luthor. <laughs> Give me your tag. Give me your tag, sir. I didn't like that sound. I guarantee you, I know it's coming. And I'm still going to be scared, I guarantee you. I hope I don't have to see him ever again. Alright. God, I'm sorry. Ah!
exactly this exact, this exactly is where I got to. Big fucker is stalking me. Found a patient file. ¿Qué? Sí. Todavía estoy filmando, pero. Spanish words. Anyways, the big fucker stalking me. Found a patient file for Chris Walker, ex-military police. Several tours in Afghanistan. A lot of blood in this place. Not all of it. <laughs> Did he walk out? And you know what, guys? Since I do have family coming home, uh, I I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. Unfortunately, I'm sorry. This is exactly where I ended it off last time, but the file got corrupted. So from here on, I won't have a clue what's going on. Um. So thank you guys very much for watching. If you liked the video, like and subscribe down below. Go ahead and leave a comment if you want to see more. I'll be doing a let's play of this until I finish the game entirely, and I'll be doing whistleblower as well. So, like I said, thank you guys very much for watching. My name's Zeno from Local Meets Zeno. I'll see you guys in the next video.